For at TV, the world is thinking. I also, once it became organic, I'm looking at how it can be more sustainable. Um, on the farm, I wanted to put it, excuse me, I wanted to put in a methane digester. In 1980, I was going to have the second methane digester in Marin County. The funding ran out. Uh, it was through the State Energy Commission. Um, but I was able to get back on the funding cycle in 2000 um, and be able to put in the digester, convert our ponds, one to an anaerobic pond, um, which the bacteria digest the manure without, without uh, oxygen and give off methane gas. And we, I put a floating cover on that. And then the next pond was for, to aerobic for air to, to break down the uh, bacteria. And we're getting over 99% reduction in fecal coliform and an 80% reduction in biological oxygen demand, BODs. I started no-till planting crops. That's just, um, actually, I, I forgot I have slides that go into that. Um, this, is the meth this is the covered lagoon the, on the on the right, and the, there's a separator on the left that separates the solids from liquids. The liquids go into the pond. Uh, the, the, it's a liquid digester, so the, this floating cover will blow up with gas, and then uh, it goes into an engine, which you'll see a little bit, that produces 90% of our electricity for the farm. Um, also, it powers my electric car, which I've got 83,000 miles on now. It's fully electric and it's powered by the cows. <laughs> and actually, this is, this is the Strauss next... Family Creamery makes most of its electricity from one. its cows. This... Cows are fed with organic feed. Then the cow manure is collected, dewatered, and fermented to produce methane under a giant tarpaulin. The methane gas fuels a generator, which creates electricity. Albert Strauss wanted to close the loop and build an electric cattle feeder truck. Here's the electric cattle feeding truck without its auger system. The nose is off the truck. It'll be back on soon. Crossed off motor mounted through a one inch aircraft aluminum plate to the five speed. It runs this thing a little bit smaller than the cat diesel. Air brakes, standard 6.2 to one rear axle, 20 L16 batteries. Air pump for the air brakes, hydraulic pump for the power steering. Here's the charger and the controller mounted in the cab. Here's the throttle assembly under the dash. We're about to take it for its true maiden voyage in a few minutes. As we continue to develop the electric cattle feeder truck, we may have to add additional components to maximize power and efficiency. But since the machine is the first of its kind, design changes are part for the course. Beautiful. So, um, what I'm trying to, let's see if I can get past that, okay. Um, what I'm trying to do is close the loop. Um, we'll be powering the, the cows will be powering the truck that feeds them. And so, um, it's almost there. I'm still, it's, of course, all these new projects cost more money than, um, than I budgeted and take longer than I expected. But yeah, if anybody has money to wanting to invest in it, that'd be great. 